Oh, hi, Omina san. This is Blue Flame Entertainment here. Um, this is going to be a very unedited unboxing, but I really wanted to show you guys everything that had come in this week, even though I still don't have my computer, so this is being done all on my phone. No editing whatsoever, but we're going to try our best to see what we can do with uh, my phone. Anyway, as you can tell, today's unboxings are a bit of a different nature than my normal stuff. It's not anime related, it's not video game related, it's comic book related. That's right, today we are unboxing five different things that relate to Captain America Civil War. The first on our list is to unbox the Artfex Plus Kotobukiya figurines for Iron Man Mark 46 and Captain America. These figurines go together, so I never would suggest that you buy one without the other. It's, it's not a good idea. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's start off with Iron Man, and then we'll open up Cap, because Cap is wonderful, but Iron Man is here first. All right. As you guys can see, there's... Cut these. And I will, once I get my computer back, I will uh, be deleting these and then re-uploading them. I just really want you guys to kind of see them. tell he's broken up into a couple main pieces but I really love his base his base just really fits Civil War in it of itself if I can get it out okay this is not okay so the base is a little stuck in there but I'm sorry if I'm not talking much while I'm trying to put this together. Okay, there we go. So there's those parts. Let's get head on. So this is a uh, very cool. Kotobuki is like one of the Japanese companies that actually really likes to try and take comic books as they come out. And these are really cool. They're a lot smaller than a lot of the other figures I would you would see from uh Kotobukiya, who mainly does 1.6. Uh, these are 110, so they're they're a lot smaller than a lot of my other figurines, but they're meant to go together and to be like in a fighting pose, so I think it was worth it. And they're also a lot cheaper than a lot of my other figurines in the comparison. <laughs> so the arms are a little hard to get out. A um, little hard. A little hard. That arm. And then there's this arm. So, that's our Iron Man. Hopefully you guys are seeing him correctly. He looks really cool. I like the coloring. The coloring is almost literally spot on. It's a little darker, but it's really cool. I, I love it. I wish he would light up, but that's for a different figurine. And that's somebody who can't keep quiet while I record. All right, so there we have Iron Man. Really cool. And now we will open up Cap. I hope I'm not off center. I do apologize. Mimi, be quiet, I'm recording. a little bit different, 
But it's the same basic basics as the Iron Man figure. You guys are going to see why very quickly why you have to get both of these together. Because they, they don't look right. I mean, Iron Man looks awesome because he's firing his... Because he looks like he's defending himself. But quite honestly, I don't feel that they look right unless they're with each other. And this is the other thing, as you can tell, this is why it's a bit of a cheaper figure. Because the pegs are actually on the figurine itself. Something that's not common in figures, but... Uh, when it's there, it's very easy to tell that the figure is either a prize figure or is a much cheaper production than other figures. Um, it's a very easy way. It's also an easy way of telling if something's a bootleg normally. Um, I know this is official because I did get it from Japan. I got it shipped from Japan. And it just got released. But, uh, that's one of the easy ways of telling if you've got a bootleg or something. So, this is the shield. And this is probably, this is going to be like the Iron Man ha hand. Or not. Please, don't be hard. Okay. Second, I was like, are you going to be really difficult? Do be careful, though, guys. This... There are parts of this that really feel like they're hard to put together, but at the same time, there are parts that feel like they're going to break on me, and I'm like, oh, dear God. Cause it's really trying to make me force cap. It's really trying to make me force the shoulder into cap. Even now, it's not as tight as I want it to be, but I don't want to force it anymore because I've already heard a cracking sound. I don't want to break a figure that I've just gotten. And then, obviously, the lovely head. <laughs> the teeth are really what are making this head very hilarious. Um, in comparison to another figure you guys will see. So there we go. Put all this stuff back with this. And there they go. They fit perfectly together as they're meant to be. Ready. Uh, you guys are gonna like see a very janky camera motion for a second. I do apologize. I'm gonna move the camera down. There we go. All right guys, so this is the two Kotobukiya figurines for Civil War right next to each other. Do these guys not look like they mean business? I think Iron Man has done a lot better than Cap, but Cap has all that detail work. And at most, his face is what really kind of puts everything at a fault. Otherwise, look at that. That is so detailed on costume. Um, but you guys are going to see another detailed Captain America figure that definitely puts it in the dust. Battle face! Battle face. Alrighty, everybody. Thank you for joining me on another <laughs> unboxing. Um, I hope this was okay. I, I get that uh, I wasn't talking too much, and this is very unedited at the moment. Um, but thank you once again for joining me on unboxing, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye, everyone.